Hey guys, Dustin here, and this is Wild Blood on my iPad 2. It is from Gameloft, or developed by Gameloft, and uh, I do want to preface this review by saying that this uh, Handycam setup I got right now is uh, not representative of how I will do these in the future. It is just, uh, I, I, we want to get this review done as soon as possible, and uh, it's kind of what I have to work with at the moment. So this is, again, not representative of how these uh reviews slash videos will go in the future so please bear with us until then um, on that note let's go ahead and begin this is game loss first uh, unreal engine game it is a 3d hack and slash and uh, it's got uh, RPG elements to it and as you see I have a, a digital analog stick down here in the uh, left corner wherever I put my thumb is where it will be and I uh, uh, look around using this and as I said before it is a it has RPG elements so I have um, the ability to buy potions and such it has in-app purchases where you can use money to buy gold and it goes all the way up to 300,000 for 100 bucks but at that point I think you should just go ahead and pay someone to play the game for you um, so, yeah, you should probably, you guys probably want to see some action. So far, the digital analog is working okay. It's got me hit a few times. There's been, uh, times where I'm clearly holding the, the digital analog stick as far to the direction that I'm trying to go as possible. And he's still walking, or there are times where I'll get hit, and I'll be... It'll reset, and my thumb will no longer be uh, recognized as as trying to move in a position. And uh, sorry, it's kind of hard to shoot fire wielding goblins and talk at the same time. But the premise of this story is: you are Lancelot, and uh, King Arthur knows about you and Guinevere, and in a Rage, he uh, consulted with uh, a witch named Morgana, and uh, or Morgana, if you're from the south. And, uh, oh, I missed my uh, trigger button. And Morgana tricked him into releasing the freaking uh, hellfire and brimstone all over the kingdom. And as Lancelot, you come back, and you're trying to... Uh, uh, save the kingdom. Here, let's see here. At any time, you can pause the game and buy health potions. So it's kind of like a uh, an arcade game that way. You can just put in another quarter. Uh, I haven't really been hit until recently. I've been going through the game pretty easily, but now I'm starting to get hit a lot more. And I don't know. I kind of feel like it's uh, it's kind of the game's fault, not my own. Because the uh, while these controls are pretty good, they just lack the the fidelity necessary for some of these movements. And uh, also, you have to take into consideration that um, there's uh, like as I play, I get like this funk that builds up on the screen, and that affects my uh, yeah, I'm getting killed over here. That affects my ability to move around because. It just it doesn't recognize my hand as much anymore. Uh, maybe I should have leveled up my uh, HP. Maybe that's one of the things I should have done. I've been focusing on my sword. See, so yeah, that was just a random turret sequence there. Um, not much else to say. There's uh, you come up and. Well, this happens. You have enemies spawn, and you fight them off, and the level opens. And how oh, are you going, you little jerk? Once that opens, you go to a new area, and then enemies spawn. And to compensate for some of the difficulty in controlling, they have allowed sort of an auto lock for during combat, and because of that, there are times when I felt like I've tried to roll 
And instead of rolling sideways, I've rolled towards an enemy because he's Lancelot is locked on. Here we go. I'll show you guys the uh, upgrade trees. So that's my sword. That's what I began with. And then I have uh, the twin axes is what I'm using now. I have a bow as well. And here I can uh, I can upgrade HP, MP, stamina, speed. And uh, I've been putting most of my cash in my sword. I think I'm kind of paying for it now. But yeah, so far it's it's okay. Uh, I think that maybe there's some balancing issues, some, uh, some controls that they could patch. But overall, I think it's a, a pretty good buy. One thing I will say is the uh, the voice acting and the music in this game is pretty spectacular. Uh, the lip syncing is off and doesn't look that great, but the the music in, in particular is uh, really well done. So if you're into action RPGs, guys, I would recommend this. It's $6.99 on the App Store. Thank you for watching. I am Dustin for Classic Elite. Uh, check us out on G2PO. Uh, if you like what you saw, feel free to like and subscribe, comment, let us know what you think. And uh, if you really like our stuff, uh, feel free to share it on Facebook and Twitter, favorite it, all that good stuff. So I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you again. Catch you next video.